Ladies and gentlemen, Cal fans know this man as one of the best coaches in Cal history. We'd love to have you for the longer we did. I hear that stadium's coming along. <laughs> it's coming along right very now. well. Well, yeah, definitely. Coach Mariucci, as I'm comfortable with calling you, talk about this quarterback class this year. Is this the best you've seen, or uh, is that a stretch? Well, that's a stretch. I, you know, and we'll never know today or tomorrow exactly how good this class might be until they start playing in the league. And the advantage, though, that this class has over all the other classes is that right now there's no free agency which means the teams and probably 10 teams out of the first half of this draft need a quarterback whether it's a starter or a backup many teams need one well because Kevin Cobb Mark Bolger, Donovan McNabb really have no place to go right now. In a normal year, they would be free agents and they would be filling some of those needs. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not happening because of this. What if the lockout? Labor, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Well, I don't think if the lockout. I, yeah. I, I don't think anything's going to happen before draft day. See, I, I don't think any any. Who knows? But I don't think it's going to happen. So, so what my point is, teams are going to have to get their quarterback needs filled through the draft which means eight quarterbacks, more than that, will get drafted. But there's never been eight quarterbacks drafted in the first three rounds. Right, never. Right, right. Even that great class in 83 where there were six in the first round. John Elway. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah, and Marino and all those guys. The next guy taken was in the fifth round. Okay, right. so, right. so if I'm Ricky Stanzi or if I'm Colin Kaepernick or if I'm, you know, uh, Christian Ponder, mm -hmm. Andy Dalton. Mm -hmm. These guys are going to get taken, if not day one, day two, where the second and third rounds happen, and, and because teams can't fill their needs with Kevin Cobb. Hey, is this a statement on how the college passing game is caught up with the pro game? Because it used to be the college game was known for the wishbone. <coughs> then we had the spread in the late Yeah, but everything's and, you know. trendy, okay? Mm -hmm. What's in vogue right now? The spread offense. Right. The shotgun. Right. The little option. Yeah. Used to be, when I played, the Houston Veer. Right. The wishbone, the That's right. right? Yeah, right. Or three yeah. yards in a cloud of dust. That was uh, Houston. That was nuts, right? Uh, beer, right? I think they had so many versions of it. Like my God, it was... Billy Yeoman. Yeah, Billy Houston. Yeoman. Right, Billy Yeoman. Right. Yeah, yeah. And so now it's the spread offense. It's 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 spreading. And then we have the high passing game, and uh, uh, and we're throwing the ball a little bit more. Yeah. But uh, Chris Brown of Smart Football Blog and I have a running argument going. What? It goes like this. All right. He says that let's say let's say Terrell Owens. You know Terrell Owens very well. He's, I say, take a guy like Terrell, put him at wide receiver and halfback and tight end, move him around. He says, no, 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 let the wide receiver play wide receiver, the halfback play halfback, it's easier to teach. What do you think about, about the take? I'm right down the middle. Mm -hmm. I would like him, I agree with you, to, to make him play the receiver and the tight end spot. When you say tight end, he's already playing that. Anytime a receiver is in the slot or with a nasty kind of split right. he's basically running tight yeah. tight end routes he doesn't run block like a tight end would mm -hmm. double down with the tackle and all that but he's running those kind of routes that a tight end typically could run as far as a halfback that's a different that's a different yeah, country is, now we put go back in there pattern, right? you know? I know but sometimes there's blitz sometimes there's pass protection and and then it, are you gonna hand him the ball and run the power with a tall receiver not very often so that the, the, the tailback that's out forget about it right, okay right. but the tight end receiver stuff those they can do that now if you put him in the back and we put Terrell Owens in the backfield mm -hmm. a few mm -hmm. times and run routes where yeah. he's got a free release right, he's not right. in yeah but if you what see, I'm getting the at. problem is yeah. if you see full blitz mm -hmm. and the quarterback has to check uh oh, that guy's in pass protection. I want to do that. <laughs> and finally, uh, getting back to the quarterbacks, Cam Newton. Have you ever seen a more polarizing figure? Because there's a lot of stuff that, you know, was you know, attacking. It was like, oh, every, was like, think about it now. Every year, the, the top quarterback oh, yes. in the draft, and he's one of them, mm -hmm. he and Blaine Gary, mm -hmm. arguably. There's the Tim Tebow intrigue. Right. Right. The Vince Young tree, the Matt Leinart. There's, I mean, there's always some, some conversation about these top quarterbacks that are. That's very intriguing, and they're all different guys. 
and they come from different places and they have different styles and uh, Michael Vick is different than uh, Eli Manning coming out you know they, so they all are uh, unique individuals that have a unique skill set it's going to be fun to watch hard to predict their future as you know the quarterback is uh, tougher to predict than the weather I mean you don't mm -hmm. know well what's going what's, right. what's to come of it well said. Um, because if I mean if either one of those fellas goes to Carolina it's going to be rough sledding I think right. for a year or two at least yeah. rough yeah. two years yeah. Yeah. because the division is right. well equipped with other quarterbacks and they're all competitive and you're going to take your lumps I don't care if Peyton Manning goes to Carolina right. it's going to yeah. be you know they, they've got a ways to go we all know that they need to rebuild some they got some parts but Ron Rivera's got a job to do so versus uh, Ben Roethlisberger going to a Pittsburgh mm -hmm. right. or a Dan Marino going to a Miami right. Mm -hmm. That's playoff ready. Different start. We're gonna have a different start. Are we ever gonna see you back on the field again next to Jeff yeah. Tedford? You hopefully, know, you hopefully the, the Under Armour High School <laughs> All American <laughs> Football what, Game. What I hope about, I get invited back. What about Gruden's, we won. What about we won. Gruden's lead? Yeah, they fired a football coach just thinking he's got. <laughs> I'm I'm in that, but I'm on the West Coast version. <laughs> right. more, more importantly, coach.